Hey guys, thanks for joining The McCoolio Show. Today, I'm starting something different. Uh, something I haven't really done before ever. So, it's gonna be shit. Deal with it. I don't care. I do, but I wish it was good. I mean, if it's good, that's a plus for me. But, I mean, let's be honest. It's the first time doing it, so it won't be good. That's just how it is. So, this is gonna be a new series. It's called Just Wait. It's basically me criticizing things that aren't totally shit. It's just my opinion on things, alright? So... I'll find something, heaven forbid, I did something on Star Wars, and I would basically go, all right, I love it, great, but just wait, there's criticism that I'm gonna say. It doesn't mean it's correct. It's what I think in regards to a certain topic. It is not something that you listen to and then go like, hey, that's, that's the truth. Better listen to David because he's fucking knows what's going on. I can't even get my mic right. Oh, do you know what? I didn't fuck that up completely. Not completely. Uh, um, yeah, don't, 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 don't go around being like, David said this, so it's the truth! I'm also going to be probably quite uninformed in the topics I'm talking about. I've done a bit of research that I trust, but I mean, for God's sake, if you want news, go somewhere else. You want to have your opinion justified, you can come here. If you want to learn new opinions and what other people... I'm going to talk about something that, I guess, is dear to my heart and many other people's hearts, and that's Nintendo. They've been around forever. You want a timeline? Go Google it. This will still be playing. I'm giving you an opportunity right now. Google it, check it out. They've been around for a long time. Um, and Nintendo is a pretty cool company because they have, you know, just sent the, it's sent, they've sent the benchmark, that's what they've done. Fucking some random dickhead is like, oh, what am I doing today? And then, oh, and a package came, benchmark, and they're like, fuck you, Nintendo. Why do you do this to me? No, they've set the benchmark for video games since the beginning, all right? And they've created such classics as Mario, Zelda, Zelda, um, Kirby, Yoshi, these are pretty iconic character. Samus, Star Fox, which has Fox and things like that, and a lot of games that people love. Uh, dearly. And they're incredible. Myself, my favorite game ever is Zelda Ocarina of Time. So I can quite happily say that I definitely appreciate you, Nintendo. I also love Pokemon. Okay, uh Nintendo, I have a really soft spot, I guess, in my heart for because they've created things that have made me into the person I am. I wouldn't like video games if Nintendo didn't exist, I reckon. I could have definitely gone down the sport path and you'd be watching right now some big buff dude who was good at sports, but I'm not, and you're not, and I am who I am, look at me, yeah. But yeah, Nintendo is, it's an, it's an interesting company, and, and they, they've continued to try and set the benchmark to create new, innovative things. And for all the things that Nintendo is great about, my, uh, yeah. Oh no, that's not how I do this. Ugh, it's called just wait for a reason! But for all of, <laughs> no, that's not how I do it. So Nintendo is this awesome company, right? Creating awesome games and consoles and pushing the boundaries, right? But just wait! Just wait! It's the title, guys, wasn't that, like, seamless? Just wait a fucking second, because Nintendo is also the dickhead of all the fucking game makers. And you can be there in your little bedroom or your big bedroom, I don't know. I'm, I, how would I know? How would I know? You can be there in whatever room you're in thinking, no, fuck you, David. Fuck you, Nintendo. How can you say that they're the, they're the dickheads of, of, of the console things and of game makers? And I'm like, I'll tell you why they're fucking dickheads. I'll tell you why. Because Nintendo, for all the innovation and all the pushing that they do and all uh, and the, the crazy, amazing things they create, they hate, hate the consumer. And I don't know why. The thing I'm focusing kind of on today is the Nintendo Switch, which, hey, this isn't a coincidence, uh, comes out this week or next week? Early March, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this week. It's probably already come out by the time I release this, to be honest, so deal with it. The Nintendo Switch frustrates me to no end, not because I think it's gonna be bad, it's just because it's not trying to be amazing. It could be, it really could be, but it isn't. I don't think it is. I'm not buying one. All right, the reason the Switch frustrates me so much is because it really is trying so hard not to make me super keen to buy it. It's making me mildly interested and kind of like, yeah, actually, the Switch could be good, but I don't know. And the main reasons, we'll start with uh, the hardware. It is a good console. I've read things about it and they're saying, hey, it can play full HD. That's awesome, that's great. But at the end of the day, 
It isn't, it, it's good, it's really good, but it's not amazing. And I guess it doesn't have to be amazing at this point in time. You know, if you wanna play ridiculous good quality games, you you bloody, you, you go to PC. PC's the best. It frustrates me that you're creating a console that in Australia, so work it out in your own world, costs like what, 500, just under $500. And you're still getting something that is at least of the same quality as the Xbox One. I guess comparatively, you can kind of go, hey, look, the Xbox One and this aren't so different. You're not paying a great deal less than you would normally. I think I bought my PS Pro for like $550, so it's an extra hundred bucks, and you're getting, you are getting a better console, all right? And that's that's the truth of it, okay? And a hundred bucks isn't much really in terms of money. It can be the difference, I, I realize that, but honestly, at the core of it all, it's not that much. So it's frustrating that you're still having a high price console, but you're still not getting the same quality, and this is a brand new console. Just make it better. Like, I understand it's portable, and that is a big go good, good two thumbs up for me for it. But at the same time, it's also like, if you can't make this really good, at least make it as good as everything else that's out there. So yeah, the hardware, that, that's one thing that kind of peeves me with this thing. Number two is the compatibility with other bloody game developers. The one thing I really wanted to hear when Nintendo was releasing another console, I wanted really, really, really badly to see third party developers getting involved and really being excited to be involved and not having hurdles to be involved and not any of that shit. Nintendo going, yo, we made this specifically for third party developers to get on board with. And it's not, really the case. It's even more annoying because Nintendo isn't really backing this console with a wide variety of their own games to compensate for the lack of third-party developers. I mean, you can look at this and go, hey, 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 wait, 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 hold on one fucking second, David. Nintendo has got some third-party developers. You can play Skyrim on the bloody Nintendo Switch. And I'm like, wow, Skyrim, no way. That game is like brand, wait a fucking second. It's not brand new. It's fucking over five years old. I don't think it's a calling card to be like, yo, you can play Nintendo games and this game that was made five years ago. Its whole marketing campaign was the 11th of the 11th, 2011. 11. That was the whole fucking shebang about it. And everyone freaked the fuck out. And we were all bloody happy to have it. It's like, I get all these people saying, I'm so excited to play Skyrim on a portable system. Yeah, that's really cool. But fucking hell. It's still good. I still play it every now and then. But it's not something that makes me go, whoa. Oh, damn, I can't wait to buy that Switch to play a game that I already have on the PS4, on my PC, and now I can play it on the Switch. That's great. I don't care. It's more annoying for me because I look at it and go, think of all the things you could be playing. Because you can do Skyrim, so why the fuck can't you do anything else? Why not Battlefield 4? Uh, New Horizon, Zero Dawn, is that it? Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Why isn't that on there? Resident Evil 7, Mass Effect Andromeda. These games are freaking awesome games. The people that make them put so much effort into them and they are fun, really fun. Nintendo creates amazing games in its own right, but you've got to understand that people want to be able to play other games and not everyone is gonna be able to afford to just spend $450. So buying a console for some people is that sort of big money thing. You know, you're not gonna get another console. You just get the one. So why should people commit to having a console that they can't play a wide variety of games on. Like, look at this. Okay, so you got The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Looks awesome. Uh, one, two, Switch. No idea. Snipper Clippers. What the fuck is that? So Elder Scrolls, great. It's it's late this year as well. It's not even coming out now. Oh my God. Oh my God. If, if there's another game that you've heard that sounds really interesting, comment below, please. Tell me, tell me more games because I, I don't, there aren't enough for me to want to buy this. The last thing and the last reason I think Nintendo's a dick with the Nintendo Switch. It's how many copies they're releasing for the release date. And it's such an asshole move to make. So two million copies are being released for the release date. That's how many they're shipping out, okay? Now, obviously there'll be more. And, and I look at this and I go, it's kind of clever to tell people this because it puts pressure on those that were thinking about getting it. So the people like me who go, oh, I want a Nintendo Switch, but I haven't got it yet. I haven't pre-ordered it. Or I'm not gonna really buy it. I'm not gonna worry about it. And then they go, okay, we're only shipping two million. They're gonna sell those two million regardless they are sold they're gone people have them it's all done and the thing is announcing that like a month two months before it comes out really puts pressure like on someone like me who's on the fence 
to make that decision to buy it. Because if I don't, guess what? I'll have to wait even longer. And if it turns out that it's awesome, I will be full of regret. And that's the kind of mentality that's going through. But that isn't a good reason. It's a dick move to make, all right? That's all it is. Because it sounds like they don't have faith that it's going to sell itself. And it's frustrating because I shouldn't have to feel pressured to buy this system. I should want to buy it, not be forced to buy it. There will be people out there who will want this system and love Nintendo and just want to play the shit out of it. And they might not get that first copy. They might not get one of the two million copies out there. I hate that feeling that people are gonna miss out because because there aren't enough. Like, why should anyone be denied something that, that's supposed to be made for you? Why? Why? Why are you doing this to people? I love Nintendo and I love the games they make, but I really feel like they, they don't love me. Don't get me wrong, like, the idea behind the Nintendo Switch is incredible. The fact that you can have a portable console, basically, that you can take around with you anywhere is incredible. The fact that they've got the guts and the balls to actually do it is fantastic and it's inspiring and hopefully it invites other gamers, uh, gamers, pfft, other gaming companies to try and see how far we can take technology. And I love that about them, but at the same time, why can't you make me wanna buy it? So before you get the Nintendo Switch, just wait, just wait and actually consider, is it worth your money? It might not be. And if you don't have the luxury of just spending away $450, it might be a good idea not to. But if you do, please get it. Write reviews all over the place. I wanna know if it's any good. I feel like I'm gonna buy one anyway because Breath of the Wild looks fucking amazing. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. This video is gonna be a nightmare. A nightmare to edit because there's so much shit in it. But uh, thanks guys for actually watching. Remember, this is just an opinion. It's just what I think. You don't have to think the same way. And you know what, maybe in a week's time, I'll be the fool. Make sure you tell me in the comments, all right? And if you agreed with something or disagreed, I actually want to know about it. It's interesting. People are cool. People say random. They just say whatever the fuck they want. And that's, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's always interesting no matter what. So what's your opinion on the Nintendo Switch? And if you want to go even further into it, what's your opinion on Nintendo itself? Bearing in mind, the DS is still one of the fucking best things that's ever been created. I stand by that till the day I die. Hopefully, uh, but I would I am interested to see what you think of Nintendo what you think of the switch even the ps4 and the Xbox 360 360 Oh my god. I'm living in the past the Xbox one What a dumb name tell, tell me about it in the comments below anyway guys. I'll see y'all later. Oh shit No, no, I've got a different catchphrase. I'll see you cool cats later remember to stay breezy and love the people around you cuz why 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 not huh 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 why not yeah, yeah, that's right. Attacking you, you where it hurts and ma matters. Anyway, bye guys. Have a good time. See ya. <laughs> Love ya.